Well, g'day, I'm JB, and welcome to this week's episode of 4x4 Adventure Club. Uh, today we're out at the Talangi State Forest. We have Nigel leading. He's going to head us into a place uh, he likes uh, and calls uh, Devil's Playground. So stick around and check it out. Right, well, come across another little challenge. We've got a, a log over the track, so uh, a couple of guys just drove over it, but a few of us are uh, longer vehicles, so uh, uh, just going to pack the other side down a bit with some logs just so uh, you know, potentially they don't drop down onto our uh, rear quarters or, or long range tanks. So, yeah, I'm up next, so let's see how we go.
guys, Adam here from ADM Motors and Nuts About 4 Drive again. Just wanted to speak to you about wheel balance. Um, a lot of the time on the tracks, we, uh, we're driving along the freeway, what have you, and our steering wheels actually start wobbling or shaking. can happen on the way, uh, on the way in, sometimes on the way back out from a, from a, from a trip. But uh, one of the most common causes is wheel balance. It's all about centrifugal force. Same thing happens with tyres, so if it's slightly out of round or out of weight on one side, um, as the tyre builds up speed and starts spinning, the centrifugal forces actually will act on that and cause the wheel to actually be out of balance or shake. That in turn can actually um, you know, relate back to the driver as shaking in the steering wheel or feeling a little bit unstable sort of at higher kilometres, at high, higher speeds. So today what I thought is I'd just show you quickly the, uh, us balancing a wheel. So now that we've set the machine, what we do is we let the machine spin itself up. I always like to just check and make sure that it's not already balanced because why balance something or why go the effort of balancing something when it's actually balanced. So we spin it up, let the machine do its thing and the machine's actually telling us that we are out of balance. So from here, what we'll do is, is remove the, uh, the wheel weights as you can see that we're, we're 16 grams out on the inside of the tire, 29 out on the, on the outside of the tire. So I've removed the wheel weights, we'll spin the machine back up and we'll actually see what it, uh, what it comes up with this time. Yeah, so not too bad, pretty average. We're now 42 grams out on the inside and 69 out on the outside of the rim. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll set up some wheel weights on it and we'll recheck it. I've obviously turned the rim, put the wheel weights in the correct position, as close to the wheel weights that it, it tells me that it's going to need, and we'll let the machine decide whether we're right or not. So it's actually come up pretty good. It's told me that my wheel weights on this side is zero, which is awesome. Uh, in the back end or on the back side or the inner edge of the rim, it's told me I'm still six grams out. Now, that's not a major issue, because what I can do is I can spin the tire and see by the position of the wheel rim, uh, or the wheel weight where, where it is, as to where the machine is telling me, I might be able to just move that wheel weight around a little bit and try and get a perfect zero, zero on both edges. Have a look over here and I'll show you what I mean. So you can see that um, as I've moved the tire around, I've got a solid bar right across on that six, uh, six gram side. So it's telling me that my, I need, I'm six grams out right here. Now, the, it's not really the right thing to do to stick a six gram weight here. But what I can do is, depending on where we're actually positioned, I can actually move this weight that I've put on slightly. And that, if I, if I bring it a little bit further forwards, that may just put us per, in the perfect site. So by balancing that, uh, that wheel, moving, moving that wheel weight on the inside just a little bit forwards, you saw I only went like a few degrees. Um, I've managed to be able to bring it up to zero zero in this tire, which is pretty good. That's what we aim for is we want zero zero. So this tire is now balanced perfectly on the outside and the inside. So th there's no reason for this tire to actually give us any kind of wheel wobble or wheel shake. But wheel balance is probably the easiest thing to check. Um, and 95% uh, and of most of the causes out there, some of the, some of the cars have got lots of other little things going on with them as well, which can cause the same effect. The wheel balance is the key. Make sure that's right before you start doing everything else. But all in all, on a, uh, on a passenger vehicle or a nice tourer, wheel balance is the key. Keeps the steering wheel straight, keeps everybody happy. Less effort when driving. Um, pretty simple to check and do. So just pop into a tire place if you need to, have your wheel balance checked. Hope that helps. Like to see you out there. Stay on all fours and go nuts. Hi, I'm Nigel from 4x4 Adventure Club and this is my 1981 Toyota Hilux called Kujo.
purchased the car back in 2003 off of a mate who was ready to go to the scrap heap. These are some of the modifications that I've done. One of my first modifications that I did was an engine transplant. I removed the four cylinder out of it and transplanted a Commodore V6 with a turbo 700. To help it flow a bit better through the exhaust, I fitted a two and a quarter inch exhaust through it. I'm also running a dual battery system which is tucked back in the tray. And for uh, the air intake, I'm running a three inch stainless steel um, snorkel. Did some custom bar work. On the front, I have my bull bar, which is tube steel with six mil plate with a high mount winch, 8,000 pound worn, and one eye and a 22 inch light bar. Running down the side, I have scrub bars, 40 mil, uh, running into my 40 mil rock sliders. Running three inch flexi coils front and rear, Pro Comp. 8 inch shocks in the rear with uh, Lide Pro 4 inch shocks in the front. Uh, also running uh, Alpine alloys wrapped in uh, Max's Trepador tyres. Inside the car, I gutted out all the original Hi Hilux interior, fitted some custom seats out of a, I think it was out of a Honda Prelude, they fit quite comfortable. Custom built all my consoles. Um, Obviously new carpet, body deadened all the inside of it, custom painted all the dash and uh, various gauges and switches just to help it make it drive better through the bush. Okay, when it comes to the back of the vehicle, I custom built a rear tray for it, put my high lift jack on the top of it. I've got a couple of storage boxes. And once again, the uh, batteries are housed in, underneath the tray, keep them nice and low, keep the weight distributed evenly through the vehicle. Underneath the back of the tray, I've got a 80 litre uh, fuel tank, still running the standard 60 litre off the side, coupled to the back of that is my is a, um, a tow hitch and yeah that's another storage box on the back of it to put all my recovery gear in and beside that I'm running a, uh, a Waco fridge. After many years of building this vehicle I decided it was time to put it on the road so in doing so with all the modifications that I had done I realised I had to get it engineered. All this has been engineered and uh, it is now all registered and legal. A wish list. Uh, at this point there's not much else I can do. One upgrade I would like to do that I haven't done would have to be front and rear lockers. Okay, favourite places I like to travel and you'll find me out playing would be Tulangi. Have a, have a soft spot for Tulangi. It's a lot of good hills and rocks up there and some good bog holes as you'll see in some of the videos. And uh, out at a newfound spot I like is uh, Cobor. There's lots of rocks out there too, and uh, that's a good spot to play. Um, places I would like to go in the future. Trips, ah, look, obviously, I always like going up to the Vic High Country. It's always good up there. And, uh, you know, Cape York's still on the top of my list of places I've got to visit. Hope you've enjoyed watching Members Rigs. I'm Nigel, this is Cujo. Hope to see you out there. If you do, stop by, say hello. Cheers. You're not going to go anywhere, man. Yeah, so just to get yourself out of the hole, just go straight. Now turn in to me. Stop there and then just sort of reverse yourself back. Keep going, keep going. Bad do ya. Then hard. Yeah.
Well, we've just made it to what they call the Devil's Playground, and it's uh, quite wet. Uh, we've got to drop into a, a big hole, and uh, there's probably every chance that we're going to be winching out the other side. So, um, yeah, let's see how we go. Well, that's all we've got time for today out at the, the Telangi State Forest. Hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook. I'm JB and we'll catch you next week on 4x4 Adventure Club.